Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. Uh, this is Brother Steve coming back with another video. Uh, brothers and sisters, so check this out, y'all. Uh, first of all, thank you for, for being here, uh, my new subscribers. Um, in case y'all wonder why I'm sitting in the dark, um, so check this out, y'all. We, we basically had a storm here in Michigan uh, last night, and it was a pretty bad storm. It was, it was a tornado, okay? And essentially, it knocked out a lot of uh, power lines and, and some transformers, so on and so forth. So I'm in the dark here. Uh, let me turn this light away. You can see. Now, I have candles around me. I got four or five candles. <laughs> so y'all can see the face. I got the candles. And you know, as far as I'm concerned, this work don't stop. We, we still going to get it. All glory and praise to the Most High. So I got four of these candles, and hopefully you guys can see me. Uh, it's cool. What I'm going to also use is I'm going to use the, the, the light off my uh, other cell phone. And hopefully there's not too much glare so you guys can kind of see me. I hope I ain't looking too crazy on, on y'all's side, but hey, I'd rather y'all see me than, than not see me. So brothers and sisters, <clears throat> I want to talk to you guys today about the vengeance of the Most High. About the vengeance of the Most High. Okay. Now, today, we're going to be using, once again, our uh, King James Version Bible, okay? And once again, brothers and sisters, we're going to be talking about the vengeance of the Most High, okay? For those of you uh, who are new to the channel, we uh, utilize and use the King James Version Bible. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully, you can. Now, once again, I'm out of, I don't have electricity right now. I won't have my electricity cut back on. Uh, it's anticipated until Monday. That's fine. Brothers and sisters, guess what? We got to be able to thank the most high in good and bad. And, 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 and difficult and not difficult. The work don't stop. And I love the most high. I love Christ. Um, and I want to basically talk to y'all tonight about uh, a, a very, very important topic. Okay. So I've titled this video, Vengeance of the Most High. Okay. Now, brothers and sisters, if you have your Bibles and you'd like to follow along, please go to uh, the book of Thessalonians, okay? <clears throat> go to the book of Thessalonians. And this is going to be the second epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Thessalonians, okay? The second epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Thessalonians. Now, some of you are, are familiar with this particular letter. Uh, an epistle is a letter. Um, you guys got to forgive me. It's like really, really hot in here. It's all right, but we're going to get through this. We're going to perse persevere. All glory to the most high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go. So brothers and sisters, I like to read this too. And then I like to e expound on, on this for some who are going through some very, very trying and difficult times with people. Okay. Uh, specifically those who are dealing with people who are intentionally afflicting them with unnecessary duress, okay? You can use duress, you can use affliction, you can lose pain, you can use sorrow. All these words that I'm utilizing, they're all synonymous, okay? They're all synonymous. All right, so basically what it states here in the King James Version uh, Bible, and it states here, once again, guys, it states here, Paul and Silvanus and Tim Timotheus unto the church of the Thessalonians and God our Father and the Lord, your shire, Christ Jesus. Grace unto you and peace from our God, our Father and the Lord, your shire, Christ Jesus. We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren. As it is meet, because that your faith hath groweth exceedingly, and the charity of every one of you will towards each other aboundeth, so that we ourselves glory in you and the churches of God for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations that ye endure. Check this out, brothers and sisters, which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of the Most High God, that ye may be counted worthy 
of the kingdom of the Most High, for which ye also suffer. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yeshua, Christ Jesus, shall be revealed from the heaven with his mighty angels, in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that, not, that know not the Most High God, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yeshua, Christ Jesus, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe because our testimony among you was believed in that day. Wherefore, brethren, also we pray always for you that our God will count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power that the name of our Lord Yeshua Christ Jesus may be glorified in you and ye in him according to the grace of the Most High God and the Lord Yeshua Christ Jesus. All right, brothers and sisters. All right, there it is. A few of the comments I, I've seen in the comment section here, I want to just you know somewhat address. Brothers and sisters, part of this walk is keep in mind that as a believer and a follower of Christ, Yeshua Christ Jesus, we are to wholeheartedly, fully implement his teaching. The Most High stated, avenge not, the, avenge not yourself. I will repay. And for some of us, that's very, very difficult, knowing the affliction and oppression and the resistance and the, and the pain we've gone through. See, brothers and sisters, when you avenge yourself off an offense or somebody that's wronged you, what happens is that you take on that, what we call, that spiritual yoke of evil. And what happens in that process is you also defile your, your hands. Now, we all have blood and sin. That's why we repent every day. And we call on the Most High with a repentant heart to forgive us daily. But as is stated here in the book of Thessalonians, the Most High sees all. He has what you call angels of the presence. And what happens, brothers and sisters, as, is, that, is, is this what happens in the spirit. The angels of the presence see every believer, every brother, every sister, every follower of Christ. They see what's going on in our day-to-day -day affairs, our day-to-day -day lives. And guess what's happening? Those who are enabling and complicit with what I call the crime. It's being jotted down and written. And those angels of the presence go right to the throne of the Most High to inform him about the persecution of his sons and daughters. Why do you think Christ said, forgive your, your, your neighbor 70 times, 70 times, 70 times, 7, over and over and over? And forgiveness in itself, brothers and sisters, once again, is not predicated on you. I'm sorry, it's not predicated on forgiving them. It's predicated on you. The forgiveness is for you so that you heal. See, we forgive the offenses of our brothers and sisters and people that wrong us so that we're not yoked with their negative energy, their demonic energy. That's why we forgive. Forgiveness in itself, brothers and sisters, is what we call a state of mind. See, it's, it's a conditioning of the mind. See? 
Once you get in the habit of renewing your mind, forgiveness in itself, the concept of forgiveness becomes very, very simple. It becomes, in essence, a level of simplicity without complexity. You understand what I'm saying, brothers and sisters? See, the more you start to forgive, the easier it becomes. That's what separates us believers from the world. Because the world know not the most high in Christ. And because they know not the most high in Christ, they have no love. So, they are what you call perpetuators of wickedness. And it's not like they can't be delivered. It's not like they can't be saved. But you have to understand, brothers and sisters, excuse me, those, those who take what we call, who take a hard stance towards you, understand it's not you that they're taking a hard stance towards. It's the most high. And because, brothers and sisters, the image of you, your spirit, your walk, your talk, how you think, because everything about you emanates Christ. People hate you. So they're not hating you. They're hating what's operating in you. You understand? First and foremost. So the most high states here in the book of Thessalonians, it's a righteous thing. And judgment of him to trouble those that trouble you. Now, you are not to take vengeance upon yourself. That's the Lord's, not yours. So you pray for those that despitefully, despitefully use you and hate you. You love them. You got to love on them. See? And your attitude in itself should always be walking in love towards your enemy. Christ never, Christ never conveyed us to walk with our enemies. No. He said to love your brother like you love yourself. So your attitude, your mindset is to walk in love towards your enemies. See? Your attitude is to be at peace with all men as much as lie within you. And at times, brothers and sisters, that's very, very difficult. I'm not saying it's not. Brothers and sisters in a fallen world that, that we're in, in this hour, in the end of days, we're going to see once again the constant escalation of things that, 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 that I showed y'all uh, concerning that brother that was shot over, over, uh, uh, over, over a raffle for some damn shoes. You're going to see more and more of that. You're going to see families fighting. You're going to see marriages breaking up. You're going to see unusual, abnormal uh, division, dissension. You're going to see it all. The Most High prophesies in these times, these things will come. They would happen. The book of Matthew stated, You guys know that Christ came with that sword. He came for division. So you either follow in Christ or you follow a Satan. That's what it comes down to. And I'm going to tell y'all something, brothers and sisters. Forgiveness, that, that, that one thing, that forgiveness is hard for a lot of people. Yes, it is. It's a process. It's a process. Forgiving also is a decision you make. You get to a point where the harboring of things or what I call past transgressions from people that have wronged you. Brothers and sisters, you get to the point where it don't even matter no more. Because they in themselves don't quite understand why is it that you, you treat them as though nothing ever happened. 
They don't understand why you decide to take the stance and position of doing good to them. Don't ever let nobody change you. I don't give a damn if it's your husband, your wife, your father, mother, auntie, uncle, sister, brothers, girlfriend, boy, I don't care who they are. The minute that you step into this truth, you are bounded and you are cuffed to it. And I'm not saying that you won't fall. No. We all know, according to scripture, guess what? The days are evil. And any time that you're walking out the, the doors, you already know what time it is. So like I've told y'all before, you send out the spirit of peace and rest ahead of you. You forgive yourself for your past transgressions. You forgive others. You operate with the most high. The Holy Spirit will walk. It's wisdom. She knoweth her children. And she know who's hers. There are times when you'll be angry. So guess what? Like the Bible say. If you get angry, guess what? Sin not. Guess what? You could get angry and not sin. Absolutely. You can have moments where somebody, somebody does something to you. And guess what? You got to get up out of there. Be angry, sin not. Absolutely. And it happens to all of us, brothers and sisters. Absolutely. That's where grace comes in, brothers and sisters. Grace. The Most High has had unyielding grace in our lives. And some of us should have been took, been taken up out of here. And you know it. And it's only his grace. Now we all know according to scripture, the majority of mankind won't make it. But brothers and sisters, when you come to this truth of what it truly is, the reality of it, it becomes a part of you. And once that happens, the separation from that truth it's a very, very difficult thing to separate yourself once you come to this knowledge, the understanding, the application, the implementation. See? See, we don't do this thing to get the adulation of men. We're not doing this thing to get the validation and approval of men. No. Our treasures are stored up in heaven with the most high. So yes, temperance, gravity, patience. It's something that has to be learned. It's something that has to be practiced. It's something that has to be processed. Just like these companies talk about, you go work for a corporation. You, you got your degree, you got this credential, you got that, you go work for a company, guess what? The knowledge you have is irrelevant. Because what happens is, you are learning. You're working for a company. And they are teaching you their processes. So with a company's processes, you have to implement their process. That means the processes are, 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 are what? They are constructed with what? Protocol. Data. Well, guess what? The Most High's word is the same way. It's spiritual protocol. You understand? Come on now. Brothers and sisters, this ain't no easy walk. You understand? But it's worth it. It's worth it. Like Christ said, smile and take it cheerfully. The most high avenges though. He avenges. He pays. And he pays you double for your trouble. You understand? So you are not to avenge yourself. Forget, forget that. You might as well go ahead and get that out your mind. That ain't you. That was the old you. You walk upright. 
You forgive and you love with wisdom. Wisdom. Discernment. And brothers and sisters, for those who lack wisdom, like the book, like the like I say in the book of James, go to the most high and ask him and he'll give it to you. He'll pour it on you. But understand, a double-minded man, a double-minded man won't receive from the most high if he lack faith. So you must be bold. You must believe. The people that you are yoked with makes a huge difference. Absolutely. Got to yoke yourself with the right kind of people. And when I say right, guess what? It ain't no such thing as the right kind of people. It's those in Christ. Because guess what? Once again, people of Christ fall. People of Christ fail. People of Christ backslide. Happens. Still got to forgive them. Right? All right. So for those of you that have commented in my comment sections about the pain and affliction people have caused you, the Most High sees all. He's omnipotent. He's omniscient. He knows all. He sees all. Don't worry about it. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. For every tongue that rises up against you the Most High will condemn all the tactics of your enemies, whether they're in your house or out your house. That's power with the Most High. You are a powerful being made in the image of the Most High. The essence of His Spirit is in you because why? The Spirit of soul that's in you comes from the Most High, the God of Israel. A higher a show a higher Bashem Yashaya. And we have the Lord. We got the reigning supreme king, Yashaya Christ Jesus. He wins. Our Lord went to the depths of hell three days, three nights, and, and took the damn keys away. So what the hell? These people, listen, they lose. They're fighting a losing battle. See, so I just want to come here and, and tell y'all what's up. I want to remind y'all this walk. You are not to avenge yourself, period. You understand? All right, brothers and sisters. I pray that the most High continue to bless you for every Hebrew and Gentile, black, white, Asian, whoever you are. All glory and praise to the most high. Bless y'all. I love y'all. Y'all have a good night. Y'all stay up. Shalom. Peace. All right now.